Mm-mm. Hello everyone, take big care. Welcome back to our Everspace story. I hit my button multiple times, but finally it worked. Uh, we actually left off shopping. We had just bought a brand new ship because uh, they had some really good ships for sale here with perfect passives. So we are now the proud owner of this beautiful Tempest Vindicator purple. I still don't know the rarities in this game. Let's take off, continue where we left off here. We're exploring our new fancy station. You know what? Let's get a super, super, super early thumbnail. Is this going to have that board right in the background? Yeah, it will. Mm, the board is cool, but that's like a dingy nonsense cool picture. We got some of these spotlights in it back here. It's going to be better. Oh, yeah. Look at this. It's beautiful. You can even like line those up to highlight the ship a little bit. Um... Yeah, that'll do just fine. Bunch of bright lights, shiny things. Thumbnail's a thumbnail. Oh, not true. It's like one of the most important things, supposedly, for a YouTube video. And I... am not the greatest at it. We are supposed to be visiting Vaultworthy for... Presumably talking Welcome about their vaults. Welcome to the golden buoy. We buoy your gold. You mean buy, right? Buoy your gold. Buy. But management insists we use a slogan that sticks in clients' heads. And that was their choice of words? Right? My ideas were so much better. Like, tell your gold, buy. Or, we buy the gold, by the way. Or, your gold says bye-bye when we bye-bye. Mm. Yeah. Okay, well, I'm actually looking for a place called Vaultworthy. Oh, you're at the wrong place then. So, you know them? Yeah, we took over the lease on this site from them. I guess they couldn't afford the location anymore. How come? What do I care? Maybe their business didn't have the winning formula like ours. They should have invested in the future. Gold. Do you know where I can find them? Any business that's sinking usually moves to the lower decks before abandoning ship completely. I'll try my luck in the lower levels. Gold luck with that. Really? New catchphrase. Walk mm. the plank. We have other customers waiting. Gold bye. Gold bye to you too. You fool. Yeah. They don't have nothing, and not what I'm looking for. Why do I have hostiles? Outlaw drones times two. Interesting, very, very interesting. Uh, here the freelancers hangar. Do you actually have any trade stuff for sale, real quick, while we're here? Job. Yeah. I didn't actually check what they were selling. No, I don't have anything I'm interested in at all. Let me pop up off of that platform. I guess we could search one of these raw men noodle places. Um, actually quite funny. Just called my wife, and she's on her way home from uh, school, and she wants raw men. I'm literally searching a bunch of ramen places. List your preferences. Hi, I'd like one ramen with an extra side of information. You're new here, ain't you? How could you tell? Only a ruber be making such an amateur move. You don't go asking questions on press call without getting questions asked about you. Look, I'm trying to find a guy called Maddox. I never heard of him. Now don't divulge client details. Now unless you're ordering something, I'll suggest you op it. Fair enough. I mean, I'll take some ramen. Screw it. I'll buy it all. You didn't see that coming, did you? I get the feeling that wasn't the place. What gave it away? Mm, I mean, do we really need to go into what gave it away? Stop it, Prescott. Starbase authorities, real quick. Let's see why you're so highlighted. So what do we have here? A custom combat vessel, eyes of a hunter, and the smell of a Byron Podhorn during spring season. You're a gun for hire, right? Possibly. Uh, yeah, I am. All right, then. We've got some assignments on the board, but there's one job that has priority above all else. A gang of outlaws just ambushed some traveling merchants. Oh shit. We know where they're hiding, but I can't go in with my own team, else they'll see us coming light sex away. All right, consider it done. Good. You'll find them in a bunch of caves in Smuggler's Wheel. Here are the coordinates. 
I've already killed them all. But sure, if you tell me I need to go back. I've, I've done my time at Smuggler's Wheel. Been around it. Mind it all. Pop some people. What you got? Chashu, don't call to Miso. Make your order on left panel. Wait, I don't see a left this panel. Restaurant fully automated? Noodles made to the best precision and highest hygiene standards. In which case you have no human management on site. This fully automated enterprise is managed remotely. I'm looking for a guy called Maddox? Request does not compute. No guy of name description found. Chashu, don't call to Miso. Make your order. Oh, forget it. Um, how much raw men you selling? 50? Take it all! There's gonna be no raw men left on this whole darn station when I'm done. We had ramen at scarce commodity. Every day. I hated it. Any idea why it's so popular off world hive? The favorability of ramen noodles in off world settings can be explained by the ease of transportation and the longevity of the freeze dried ingredients, necessitating only boiled H2O and a dash of toppings to activate. And. Okay, I've. I get it. Doesn't make sense. It is easy. That's why when the wife said she wanted for dinner tonight, I was like, okay, super freaking easy. Given, could make like homemade custom ramen and all that stuff. I don't even think we have all the ingredients for it. Our, uh, our fridge has seen better days. So let's just go with that one. And like the fridge is good, but like maybe the contents are pretty bare. We need to go grocery shopping. We've been putting it off and this must be the wife. place. It looks worse than the vaults where we found its address. Uh, maybe they're nice and know more about the vaults. I hoped to spare us the disappointment. Yeah. Yeah. Black market dealer? Say, don't expect any discounts. Straight trade or no deal. I've had enough of all the haggling malarkey. I'm only here on business. That's what I wanted to hear. Okay, so what does the black market dealer sell? Zito signal decoders. 200%. Enemies have 15%, 50% increased movement. Uh, the marked enemy's level is increased every 15 seconds up to five times. The enemy is destroyed, a new one is chosen. You want to talk about fat loots? That boss kill. Drop in. It would be level. 19 loot for me? Oof. Actually, it would probably be 18 because the item level is 13. That would be. I don't know if rough. For me to beat and kill. Um, I mean, you got 50 rum in. I said I have to buy all of it. Got liquor. I'll buy all that too. So, uh, I'm going to have to do a trading run sooner than later at the rate I am going. Because apparently, old habits die hard. That's all you got? Here on business? I bought your stuff. Thank you very much. Uh, apparently, flying through here was not needed. Apparently, Isn't there's a terminal spots? here? The opening mechanism is similar. It's just sitting there asking to be opened. I have to shoot that one multiple times. I've done it. Let's see what we can find. Okay, another vault. What a weird way. A strange list of lots of numbers could be coordinates. Okay. Looks like cannon. A list, but it's hard to tell what these numbers mean. I could run in various analyses to find out. Please do. A result is expected in 2,335,363 years. Uh, are you serious? I am always serious. Abort the analysis. Analysis cancelled. Shame. I would have enjoyed a tedious, mind-numbing task. I mean, I'm a clone. If I had the right facilities, I could live that long. But fine, abort it. Hello. Oh, you sound like a sleaze. Entrepreneur in need of place for your valuable goods? 
My name is Clarence, and the C stands for security. Whatever mm, you lock up needs, security. Here, look it up. These catchphrases are getting worse. I agree. I uh, found one of your vaults. Yes, and? And I opened it. Oh. Aha. Must have been your vault, right? It didn't seem to belong to anyone anymore. So it wasn't locked, ah? No, it was locked, but it wasn't that hard to open either. You are one of Oof. those outlaws, stealing things that do not belong to you. That's not true. I mean, kind your of is, buddy. Your level of denial is breathtaking. Salvaging is not stealing. Does not matter anyway. This business relies on its reputation. And that is in tatters now, thanks to outlaws making sport of cracking my bolts. Whole idea was to have a secure but fun mechanism, not to provide entertainment to crooks. <sighs> I'm practically bankrupt. That's too bad. So, are you renting one of my bolts now? Or are you just wasting my time? I was wondering if you could share with me the coordinates for more of these bolts. <laughs> are you kidding me? So you can plunder them too? Are you out of your mind? I would never give you that list. If it existed. It's salvaging, not stealing. I'm only looking for the abandoned ones. No, well, sir. I will not give you anything. This would ruin me completely. Yeah, that wouldn't be a smart Don't call. Do you really think I would keep a list with the secret location of every customer's vault? Where even? In one of my vaults? Well, that would be ironic, wouldn't it? No, you never get the list. Is there is no such list. Just I already have the me. list. Okay, mister, I'll see myself out. You better. A list with every vault. <laughs> Hilarious. This must be Clarence's list. Yep. That would be a safe assumption. Oh, uh, is that um, a gag? Uh -huh. uh -huh. Get it? Funny. Ah. Uh -huh. Okay, I can't get away from the funny jokes. They got jokes for days, people. Just like you can't get away from my terrible flying. Oh, come around. Where was that last container? I'm right in here. I gotta kind of sneeze again, so we're just gonna make a weird ass face. Oh, you can do it, nose. Pick one. Either sneeze or don't sneeze. Can we fit right through here? Get skinny. Yeah, we can. Okay. Oh, mommy want? heaven. It uh, is. I'll take Love a... mommy. <sighs> Screw it. Can't even pretend I want some ramen. Honestly, I can't stand this stuff. Nah, no, right? How do people stand it? Warm fatty water with slimy spaghetti and crumblets. I have no idea why they <laughs> go so nuts for it. Yeah, it's a real mystery to me. He's good. I was just discussing it with my AI. I'm a dumplings guy myself. Anyway, what can I do you for? Ooh, I haven't had good dumplings I'm in a while. looking for a guy named Maddox. Oh, Make me hungry. You're looking for Maddox, are you? Huh. I've come quite a long way to find him. Well, I can't help you with that, but uh, since you're a valued customer, I can lead you to someone who can. You should meet a guy called Daryl. He usually hangs out at the casino. I'll let him know you're coming. Much obliged. <laughs> yeah, see you around. Uh, that, that, that sounds like a trap, just a little, and also I lied for taking all your own then, just a little bit of a trap. Uh, Scream's trap? Actually, nice that's guy. a trap. Let's go see what this Daryl has to say. Yeah, I wouldn't jump to too many conclusions there. I mean, he's got a freaking, uh, evil looking octopus thing over his umami joint. Oh, casino, 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 casino. If I just hold spacebar with shift, without looking up, it's the worst that happens. Go through someone's living room floor. My bad. Most my intention. Seven, 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 casino. You know, they say sex sells. Oh, wow, that's a terrible positioning. Do you like uh, over here? Come now, sex sells. Fuzzy bunny lady, dancing. Uh, that counts as sex, right? Always got to keep the ship. 
make it so it's not just about the sexy bunny lady dancing on a giant screen, right? F12. Second screenshot of this episode. Okay. What are we doing? Hi, I'm looking for a guy named Daryl. It's me. Yeah, a restaurant called Ahead. So you're, uh, you're the guy looking for Maddox. Is he here? Does it look like it? I just want to get a look at the size of you before I determine what you're about. Uh, okay. Okay. I'm a friend of his former colleague. Whatever. Listen, you know who I represent? No. no. Should I? You should. Asking questions about the place like a total newbie. You gotta learn to go through the right channels like everyone else. I wasn't looking for trouble. Well, okay then. You know for next time. You know my name, you know where to find me. Yeah, sure. Now I know. I'm gonna let you off the hook this one time. No excuses next time, got it? Do you know where Maddox is or not? As a matter of fact, I do. But he's been keeping a low profile, trying to avoid people like you. Who is he hiding from exactly? Who knows? Maybe he's a little paranoid, maybe it's a real thing. But the airwaves have been buzzing with rumors and he ain't taking no chances. I can assure you I have no ill intent. I just want to talk to him. Well, we don't know you, so we need to see if you can be trusted. I'm gonna ask that you do a little job for us first. So if you can carry this out, then we can talk more. Okay then. I need you to pick up a package, but it's in a hard to reach location. It's an old raided settlement inside the system. Okay, I'll do this. But I need assurances from you that you give me the information I need when I get back. Hey, Scout's honor. Bullshit. But, tit for tat. Uh, it's kind of how these little things work out here. Yeah, we're just going to continue to fill up our entire damn inventory. I think tit for tat is the right phrase there saying. It's more like just, there's always a rabbit hole of favors you got to do in a game like this. It's never just you go somewhere, get the information, meet the guys, say hi, move on with your life. Wow, that was rapid hole. guy had some attitude. I am no judge of human behavior, much less swamp life behavior. I mean, I should check out the lead, Oof. otherwise I'm at a dead end. Can't let this prospect slip through my fingers or I'll be stuck in the DMZ forever. It would appear your iteration is exhibiting a questionable level of gullibility. Oh, come on, Hive. Sometimes you gotta trust a little in life. You say the DMZ has changed, but it appears to me you have changed somewhat more. Oof. Why is this debris here? Hmm. Found a button. Found some face plating. Interesting. Ooh, firepower or precision? That one's just worse. I think firepower? Maybe we stick with firepower. I wanted to dock here. Let's see if they were selling any tradables. Welcome to the GNB Bureau of Prescott Starbase. We receive a lot of inquiries, so please be brief and to the point. I'm hoping to do some business without registering, if you know what I mean. You're looking to trade off the books, is that it? Well, we are in the DMZ, after all. Rules are there for bending. I'm thankful that you see it that way. <laughs> Just don't push your luck. Roger, Dodger. Nanotransmitters... All pretty much crap. Not gonna lie. I'm just gonna buy a all button. Oh, just buy one and then I gotta move the slider every single time. Sweet. We got, we got four inventory slots to work with. This is certainly professional. I might have to run over to Cedo real quick and just kind of sell everything. However, I do see an elite pirate on the map. I should say an elite outlaw. What are you creeping around out here for, huh? Go get him, drones. Check my fire. Check the fire and he ND some rockets. That's 
now squeal changes weapons. Hershey. Okay. Um. Main mission was here. We have a bunch of side missions. But I did say I quickly wanted to run over to see them and sell everything. So we're gonna do that real quick. And then I'll meet you back here in the center. You know what? We're flying towards the Cedo Gate and I had a thought. We actually have a side quest in Cedo. We can just kind of bust out right now. Ah, oh, I did not mean to end my super cruise. So Bill Clinton would say, I did not have sexual relations with that woman. Except for you did, buddy. Just like I did cancel that. It happens. Random political... That's not a quote. Quotes? What a weird quote to have from a president. I did not have sexual relations with that woman. Well, okay, buddy. I mean, no real shame. But I mean... Okay. Uh... Should we eat these guys? Ah, the drones are so good until they're not. Like the majority of this game, where you're just raffle stomping enemies. They're good. Yeah, I'm plugging in my phone mid recording. Ah, uh, side mission is actually going to be all the way over here. Is that the waypoint? Why I immediately bull rushed those outlaws instead of going and trading? I don't know. We're here to trade primarily. And we're just gonna bust out a side quest because it's convenient. Look at the scrap metal. Bust up all these containers. Scrap eh, eh, scratch scratch the trade. What am I stuck on? I am hitting the go sideways button and she is not very fit. Just Grinding the wing on there. Good day. What can I do for you? You can buy all of my stuff. So I can have some money back. Because we are broke. Very much so broke, my friend. So broke. Because at some point we will have to go back. I will pick up the stuff that I can trade for more money back there. So that's how you make money. Money, money, money. I don't even know what that's from. I think it's a Tom Cruise movie, isn't it? Money, money, money. I don't know. This is another saying. A lot of people say. Touche. And I've apparently over the years forgotten where that one is from. I want to say it's from the one where he slides into the door. I can't remember the name of that one either. Old age, it happens. And we also have fast travel. I don't need to slow boat all the way here, which I did. I slow boated mostly the way to the Cedo Gate, just thinking. Just pondering over in the brain. Jeez. Okay, we're here. And tetanus. Yep, I really came back to this soul forsaken place. Did you not tell the businessman that Charyptus Pole was free of outlaws? As it stands, I am unable to confirm this. You mean that Bloodstar unit over there? Maybe I should check it out. It just vanished. Wait, did that Bloodstar just disappear? That would be physically improbable. I assume they simply went into hiding. Okay. Uh huh, uh huh. I mean, Bloodstar have been hunting me. They've been giving me some of my high-end loot. Because they drop level 15 stuff when they come. Or higher level gear when they come. But I got a bone to pick with them. Oh, great, you're here. I just finished my soda. Let's go in and do some business. After you. Welcome to Charybdis Recycling Plant, where your garbage is our future. <laughs> That used to be my line. Good to meet you, sir. Name's Jan Davila. May I speak to the owner of this place? That's very suave. He's at his desk over there. Ah. Um. Well, he looks kind of relaxed. Whatever's left of him, that is. What happened to him? He is awaiting redeployment. 
Very patiently, I'd say. <laughs> what a sad story. Assuming it's a corpse, I but relate. I don't know. But with the original owner dead, salvage law allows me to take claim of this place. You really want to do this? Of course. Tell me, robot, how does this facility operate? Is it AI driven or do you pay scavengers? Nothing beats an AI. Great! We can save a lot of credits if we don't have to worry about paying an actual workforce. Say, that AI running everything, is that you by any chance? Negative. Well, that's a relief. We use multiple units based on the same operating system. All of them are broken. Broken? <laughs> Only two drill units may still contain operational copies, but they have drilled themselves into the ground. Salvaging machines can be bought. But a new AI specifically designed for this terrain would be very expensive. Would you, um, what's your name, by the way? Adam. Alan, would you mind checking the drill units? I really just need one in good shape, so I can make copies for the remaining machines. I will pay you, of course. Sure, sounds simple enough. Great! <laughs> you can literally smell the potential of this place. I'm not sure that's what you're smelling, but sure. A little stinky in here. What are you selling? I will take all of those. I'll also take all of these. Thank you very much. Let us leave. Okay. So, so apparently there are two drills with functional AI units which randomly dug themselves into the ground. Makes you wonder how intelligent that makes those units. Well. They assessed their situation and determined that their only way out of this hellhole was down. I would say <laughs> they are indeed very intelligent. I mean, if you want to go that way. I think they got reprogrammed by the blood people to come down here and mine them out of a little base. Holy crap. It's a deep hole. Just keep on going? Holy crap. AI you unit. Are. Let's see what you've got. This one's busted. Well, shucks. Whoever would have thunk. I wonder if it even matters which one you go to first. I wonder if there is even a choice to choose correctly. Okay, he is gone. It'd be a good illusion of choice. Bad for speedrunning-ish, but illusion of choice. This one is kind of out where that blood guy disappeared though, so I think it would matter. Going in. Thank you. I wonder if these drones belong to the Bloodstar unit we saw earlier. Probably. It's gonna make a secret base. Just be a halfway, keyword halfway decent place. I gotta be careful because I'm damaging myself shooting that. Thank you guys, oh, well, look at you! Not level three to sell here. Food? Someone seems to be bunkering up here. That gives you that idea. AI unit. Right. Fingers crossed. It is in a fragile state, but still operational. Alright, better not touch it then. I'll let the businessman figure out how to salvage it. I mean, I accidentally did fly my ship directly hey, into it. If you don't shoot, we won't shoot back. We have no beef with there you. Is. Coming from Bloodstar, that's a first. I know that guy. He's the one who's been hunting down our people for a while now. Is that true? Hunting down may overdramatize it a little. More like you guys seem to keep getting in my way. Told you I'm blasting him here and now. No, hold it. Let's talk first. Feel free, but I'm keeping my crosshairs on him. him what do you want? Bloodstar is falling apart. Thanks in part Let's to try you. This again. If we want to survive, we need a fresh start. That's why we came here. More hostiles are incoming. Have your people stand down or I'll shoot. That's it. I've cleared him out. I said hold it. Look, we have nowhere to go. Uh, We're tired space. of being outlaws, and we space. can't leave Cedo without keys. We know you've been busy around here, and we 
we're offering to work for you. Seriously? I don't know if you're stupid or naive asking for help from a complete stranger you're pointing guns at. For soul's sake, I told everyone to disengage. I get away for a first round. You are right. We are desperate. Now, what do you say? Sorry, I don't have any vacancies. But there is a chance that I can get the new owner of this yard to hire you. You're not talking about that scrappy scavenger bot, are you? No, I'm talking about an investor from the homeworlds who just arrived. But the way I read him, he'll only consider you if there are no alternatives. We are the only alternative out here. At least the only one with an organic brain. Give me some space so I can figure this out. Thanks. It's hmm. all we're asking for. Okay, everyone. Let's scram. We shouldn't be this out in the open. Are you seriously considering sabotaging the drill for these criminals? To be honest, I can relate more to these Bloodstar exiles than to that opportunistic Davila guy. What if mm. both sides are not compatible? If the Bloodstars were willing to get along with the guy who shot up their bases, I'm confident that they can get along with anyone. Oh, decisions. Oof. Huh. Do I remember the backstory of the Blood Stars? Or the people? Ah, uh, it's a chance to let them go legit. You had to go back now. Let's hope for the best. Yep. Here's to hoping. Better to work with people, anyways. I don't know. That's such a hard decision. Like, was that AI sentient? Did I just murder some dudes so these humans could get jobs? And then it's like, where do you put your allegiances and bias? Because then you're looking at like modern day things with AI starting to take over. Um, and that's approaching general intelligence. Oof. I don't know. I think they, the fact that they need the money and need stuff, I, I think this is the right choice, even though I kind of feel a little, yeah. This How did just... it go? No luck there. The units are both busted. But I met a bunch of potential workers who would be willing to operate this place manually. Workers? You mean like in the flesh? I don't know. Getting a new customized AI is still a lot cheaper than hiring a complete workforce. Apart from wages, I'd have to pay for living quarters, a protein farm, Maybe some entertainment and sports facilities to keep them and their families happy. Oof. All of that could be a business opportunity of its own. Hey, you know what? You're right. This is ingenious. I'll create an entire economy based on all these people living here. I need to head out and start negotiations with them ASAP. So you still want to invest in this dump? Of course. At college, I was always the top of my class. Recapitalizing this operation will take maybe two or three soul years. Once this place turns profitable, I'll be off looking for my next project. So I won't be here for long. <laughs> if you say so. DMZ's got a way eating people. But if you think you're only going to be here a short time, show me it. Enjoy your time here. And... Uh, yeah, I took the sexy screenshot, the money sales one. I think we took that to this episode. I'm trying to think if we had a thumbnail because we're out of time for this episode. I do appreciate you all stopping by and checking it out. Which decision would you make? That's a tough one. I don't know. I mean, I chose mine. I went with the humans. By the way, do all the YouTube stuff. Like, subscribe, comment, the bell notification to all my syndicate members. Thank you so much for being here. I really do appreciate the support. Ah. Still need to figure out a way to word that better than muscle memory down, but yeah, it happens. Ah, out. Oof, this is getting weird. A little cringe. I got a comb. I'm gonna trim my upper mustache beard part. I guess is this still a mustache even if you have a full beard? Because like technically this is the mustache. I trim my mustache, I think, but like. 
I don't know what's proper there. By the way, it's getting really long. Goes in my mouth. No one likes that. I'll see you guys.